this story, this journey began with this little tiny, tiny book. And I have the wonderful fortune of working with Eric Carle directly. Um, this book has sold over 39 million books worldwide, which is incredible. It's at one point it's selling one copy every 15 minutes, which is an extraordinary stat. Um, this is my copy from when I was a kid, my 1983 copy, and in the, in the inside, this is where we began our collaboration with Eric. So it's pretty special. He's the most humble and talented artist I've ever met. His work is absolutely incredible. It's constructed with tissue paper that he has he spends all weekends just doing tissue paper after tissue paper, different colours, and then he collages them all together. So I think the most wonderful thing is his art. With his art, we're able to pull it all together with his team, Matoka Inu, in the studio. And to do that with the show, we brought on board a very talented puppet group in New York called the Puppet Kitchen, who have a, a list of credentials as long as my arm. So I started doing a series of sketches, brought them all to these guys, and then they took, took over and we started a collaboration with the studio as well so we could get the most accurate, faithful version of the show. We're really excited about the show because we consider this to be the first book for many, many, many other children. And it's now going to be the first opportunity for them to go and see theatre as well. My name is Eric Wright. I'm one of uh, the head chefs of the Puppet Kitchen from New York City and just one of the creative team behind the design and construction of these uh, 75 puppets that we have in this show. Uh, whenever I say that there's 75 puppets in the show, people always say, well, I don't remember the Very Hungry Caterpillar having that many characters. Uh, but that's what's beautiful about this production is that there are three other stories pulled from uh, Eric Carle's canon uh, that we've also brought to life. And when we set out to bring these stories to life, um, we started digging into all of Eric Carle's work and into his research and, uh, and really fell in love with his style and his ability to uh, make something that was very accessible and uh, looked like it could be made, looked like it had been made by hand. And uh, we, we tried very hard to uh, recreate that same kind of style, the kind of asymmetry and character that Eric Carr puts into his work we've tried to uh, put into these puppets. Um, but of course, through all of, these, through all of these creations, the color is really what stands out the most. Um, and so we've, we've taken these uh, images and fleshed them out to think, to say, what would these look like in three dimensions? 